I mean, you're the director of tourism for Elkhart Lake, so there's probably a couple of locations that are near and dear to your heart. Absolutely. So will you be my tour guide for I'd that? I'd love to. Cool. I'd love to. Good, good, good. Okay. Thanks. This All right, let's go. This place is charming. This is the Sipkins Resort, which is run by the fourth generation of the Sipkins family. Cool. And it's got a fantastic restaurant. It's well known for the tavern scene with the racers. Paul Newman has had a, a few good times here in, <laughs> in the tavern here at Sipkins. So this is really terrifically beautiful. It sure is. Here we are at Victorian Village's Back Porch Bistro. Mm -hmm. And their uh, cuisine and, and is really more Northern European style cuisine. Okay. We do a lot with braised meats and do really robust, hearty menu items that are real similar to the cooking in the country of Northern Europe. It's sublime. Oh, and the view is just spectacular. It's just excellent for outdoor dining. Yeah. Lola's on the Lake is the signature restaurant at the Ostroff Resort and its menu is really influenced on French culinary style cooking. They really like to pull in the artisanal cheeses mm -hmm. and the regional meats and foods in the area. So tell me this is part of your daily commute if you're the director of tourism it's for beautiful. Lockhart Lake. I mean this is gorgeous. It's great. It really is great. All right, so we're here at the Inn of the Osthof, and we're going to go to the Culinary School of the Inn. Mm -hmm. And you guys have just, I mean, you've really sort of just launched. This is a real cutting edge thing that yeah. you're doing. And you have the coup of this uh, chef, Jean-Claude, that I'm going to meet. So here we are at the cooking school at the Osthof Resort, the Col de la Mission. And there's chef Jean-Claude, busy at work. Chef, what a pleasure to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you. Tell me a little bit about the philosophy of the cooking school because I think it's different than most. Mm -hmm. well, the philosophy of the cooking school is to have a bag, French bag one cooking and just teach them about uh, the ingredient, what kind of ingredient they can use mm -hmm. and how they can make the food taste great. No good, but great. I like the food taste really good, mm -hmm. but also use uh, local, I mean, I always use some local ingredient. Well, to be fair, I'm sort of um, craving to find out how much you've learned over all these years with the dish that you put out. So okay. is it all right if we sample it? Oh, sure. So what you're going to try is a game with a lemon uh, capered sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, on, the, on the skin, we have some uh, spice with the butter. Uh, before we bake it, that, that give uh, more flavor of it. Thank you so oh, much oh, for sharing. You. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Much. So I brought myself to one of the true gems of Elkhart Lake, the Lake Street Cafe. And we're here to meet our wine expert, Jessica Bell, who's in the next room where all wine experts love to be, the wine cellar. So, Miss Wine Expert Jessica Bell, have you been here before? I sure have. Oh, cool. And this is one of my favorite places to come. This is Lake Street Cafe in downtown Elkhart Lake. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. And I love to come here because they have uh, not only one of the best wine lists in Elkhart Lake, but a wine list that uh, rivals any in Wisconsin and even in the country. So, what makes it so special, the wine list? This wine list has not only breadth, mm -hmm. but depth. Okay. Tell me about both. Well, on um, breath, we're going to be talking about uh, wines from all over the world. So there isn't just a focus on California or France. They've got wines from Spain, from Italy. New world, old world. South America, Australia, yeah. everywhere. Um, but they've also got depth. And depth is going to be uh, older vintages. So what was the superstar that you picked for us? Well, this one is called uh, Chateau Ramafort. Okay. And it is from Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. This bottle is under fifty dollars on the on the list. Wow. It's from nineteen ninety five, and it's it's. Um, I'm excited to try it. I, this is a bottle I've never tried. It's probably the sexiest sound ever. So, what should I look for in enjoying a ninety five? Will it open up more? Does it take longer? Well, first, I always start with the appearance, and I'm definitely to take note of the appearance because this is an older wine. So, the first thing you'll see is a bit more of a brown, mm -hmm. orange tint on it, and um, uh, you know, a thirteen year old Cabernet is going to start to have a bit of that orange and brown note to it. Right, right. And then. Wow, this is still doing nicely. This has got, um, uh, when you smell, you still get some of the fruit, which is um, an indicator that it still has some life on it. Really smooth. Really smooth. Really smooth. What happens with uh, a Bordeaux or any kind of Cabernet, because that's what this is, it's 50% mm -hmm. Cabernet, 50% Merlot, is that with age, that, um, that grip that you get from something called tannins um, is literally going to fall out of the wine and um, uh, become silky. And that's how you get this silky oh, interesting. Mouthfeel. So when people complain about tannins with younger wine, 
if they're allowed to be laid down and develop, it'll actually become a real um, accretive part. Usually, but what you need, you need one or actually two other factors to enable it to age. One is going to be a concentration of flavor. Okay. Because it's got to withstand 13 years. It's got to be aging. a good wine to begin with. Exactly, and it's got to be able to age and age gracefully. Then also. Another factor which this has is acidity, which mm -hmm. is making it uh, feel alive in your mouth. Totally. Even though it's light and subtle and silky, yeah. it still has this bounce to no, it. No, it, it bounces, it permeates, it covered my whole tongue without me having to do a lot of work. And these guys are totally highly acclaimed. I mean, the awards, tell me a little bit about, because you can speak to that. Right, they have two awards from probably the two most well-respected wine magazines in the country, the Wine Spectator and the Wine Enthusiast. Okay, so Lake Street Cafe, double awarded, Wine Spectator, Wine Enthusiast. Yep. My day has been full of a ton of treasures. I mean, this is an amazing destination, there's no question. Um, but this place, how did you find out about it? Well, they have this great website, uh, elkhartlake.com. Okay, and you are all grown up and have a cool website too, right? I do. MilwaukeeWineSchool.com, is that right? So, a little dissertation on this and some of the things you do in your education and your schooling. Exactly. Thanks for taking me out of another episode, Jess. Love to do it. Cheers. Cheers.